everyone, this is Valerie McNeil from Ginger's Eclectic Life on Etsy and today I'm going to show you how to make, how I make, my library pockets. So out of old book pages, of course. So I have some right here, some pages that I tore out of a book that I was going to use for my journal. Now this is very similar to the envelope tutorial that I have. Um, very simple procedure and then I'm going to show you how I kind of uh, do them up a little bit fancier. So I take my paper, my book page, and I just fold over about half an inch and fold up the bottom. The envelopes you'd fold down the top and, and do some other steps, but this one we're just going to leave like this. Okay, so we fold that really well. And then I'm going to cut off the excess. So this part and this part, I'll just cut along the fold line. You can make these out of any type of paper. I just, um, I like using up my old book pages and I like the vintage look that they give um, in my junk journals. So you're left with this. And then I'm going to take my Eileen's Tacky Glue. You can use whatever glue you have. And I'm just going to put a little strip of glue. Fold that down. And then a strip of glue across the bottom. Fold that up. And there I have a little pocket and what I do is I take my little uh, circular punch. I put it only halfway through, halfway in. Normally I would put it all the way in and I'd get a circle but this I'm just going to put in halfway and cut out the circle. And there you have a little library pocket that you can uh, put in a junk journal and to tuck something into. You just glue, glue this to the page in your journal and tuck whatever it is you like in there. So some of these, um, so then you can do whatever you want with this to decorate it and, and make it your own and make them really nice. Some of the book pages I cut along, I'll just show you this one. I want it that messy bit off and I just want it a shorter with, without, without this white, white stuff at the top, just the writing. So I just cut along the the line, the line of where the printing starts. And then so for these ones, I take it again, I just fold over about half an inch, fold up the bottom, I cut, so I'm going to cut this bit off and this bit off. I suppose you could leave it on, but it adds a little bit of extra bulk. So I like to cut it off so it's not too bulky. So I do that. And it probably makes more sense to do the this punch before you glue it all together. Sometimes I forget, like I did with the last one. And there I have my half circle. And I'm just going to glue it. And across the bottom. Then what I was doing with my envelopes, I was taking some Tim Holtz uh, Distress Ink. This is Shabby Shutters. You can take whatever ink that you have, if you like. And I just kind of grunge up the edges a bit. You don't have to do this. You can do it with another color. Or you can just leave it as it is. So that's what I was doing with that. So I made quite a few of them. Th these are some I then went ahead and stamped with my stamp and fleur-de-lis. 
And then these guys, I put a little uh, strip of vintage rickrack across the bottom. So I like how those look too. Hopefully you can see it in the camera. Um, and then what I decided to do is I had some cardstock that uh, my stepdaughter had painted with some watercolor paint. So what I did was I took the full sheet. This, is, this was a full sheet. I cut it down the center and then made these pockets. I, I love this one. It's just, it's gorgeous. And uh, I might have to glue that again. Um, so again, put these aside, fold down, fold over about half an inch. And I fold this up. Cut out both corners. And this, uh, it's watercolor paper, so it's kind of like the, the thickness of a cardstock. And then take my top. Halfway down and then glue. And if you don't have a circle punch, you don't have to put that indentation there. You could cut a little V with scissors or you could leave it as is. I don't believe you have to go out and buy all kinds of fancy craft supplies. I just got the circle punch this week at my thrift shop. I was really excited to find it and I scooped it up because I've been looking for a little circle one for a while that's not too expensive. So look at your thrift stores too for craft supplies because you never know what you're going to find there. Then I have a beautiful watercolor um, paints. And then some of the ones I did, I had some scraps from um, napkins that I used in a project. And what I did was I took the scraps and decoupaged them to the front of these guys. So it's a little bird with a teacup. So I did those. It's a good way to use up scraps because it's a small, uh, small space. And then the other version that I did is I decoupaged a napkin to the envelope, and this is a lavender napkin, and um, and made it out of there. So I'll just make one of those now. What I did is just to review with napkins and decoupage. I, I'll use this. This is a beautiful peacock napkin. So what I do, remember you have to take them apart. There's usually two, three layers to a napkin. So this isn't my trick. Um, I got it off YouTube. It was either, and I'm sorry guys, it was either Crafty Irina or Deli Girl, both of which have amazing videos. You should watch them and, and amazing tips. So what you do is you take a piece of tape, stick it, gently pull, and you got that. I'm getting that first layer off really easily. And there's another layer on here, so I'm just going to use the other side of my tape. Let's see. There we go. And so what you're going to be left with is just the one ply, and it's and it's the layer with the printing on it. Let's see if it's printed on. Trust me, using the tape, some people use a little dab of glue on their finger, it makes it so much easier to peel the backings off these um, envelopes. Or, not envelopes, napkins. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, these guys, I've cut the, the top off the pages, or the, the side margin. What I'm going to do, I'll just put this aside, take my, my Mod Podge. This is a gloss, but you can use any any type. And I'm just going to paint paint this on here. Making a little bit of a mess here, but that's okay. That's what I do. Put 
that down. And what I'll do is I'll do the other one as well. So I'm just going to wet this whole side with Mod Podge. Oops, sorry about that, guys. Bumped into my camera. So I've got a full layer on there. And then what I do is uh, you can wait till this dries a bit before you paint over the top or, or glue over the top or you don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do Mod Podge over the top if you don't want. I like doing it because it leaves it kind of like almost like a leathery feel. So I like I like textures. So I'm really I really like that texture. Okay, that's one side. I'm doing this really quickly for the video. Oh, I got a piece of the circle stuck on there. Just get rid of that. Okay, so what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to set it aside to dry. When it's dry, I'm going to cut the napkin um, or the book page part out of the napkin. And then I'm left with, I have a bunch of these that I did with various napkins. I'll show you this one. So I'm left with th this book page on the back. And again, I'll just review how we do it. Fold about half an inch. I'm just going to trim that because it's a little bit crooked there. Fold up the back. So fold, fold, then fold it up. And cut out both sides. And then I'm going to punch this in here. Just put a little bead of glue here. More glue here. So that's your basic um, book page library card holder, a uh, little tuck spot for, you know, to glue, glue into your journals and tuck something or a journal card or a tag or any little goodies, a picture, anything you want to want to store in there. And then as you can see, I, I just did a variety of different ones. I've just showed you um, and uh, had fun with it. So Go ahead, use your imagination, embellish them however you like, and uh, and most of all, have fun and use the supplies that you have. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy all kinds of fancy supplies. Um, and I just used what stamps I had. So here's a, I'm gonna, I have a, a little stamp here that says friend. And I do have a, an acrylic base to put these stamps on but today I'm just gonna and it's not gonna work out properly but that's okay friend kind of I better use my acrylic base next time but anyway I just want to say thanks for watching everyone please remember to like comment subscribe um, remember to do what you love and have a great day everyone this is Valerie McNeil from Ginger's Eclectic Life on Etsy bye bye